help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> It was just over a year, just a, over a year ago when we started this campaign, and, and you know, God told me to go and be productive. I really spent a lot of time in prayer about whether this is what I should do, and, and God told me to go and be productive, and, and that's why I'm here, trying to be obedient to His command about going forward and being productive. But we're here not only to swear me in, we are here to officially swear in a group of people who assume awesome responsibilities on behalf of our county and they're standing all around you. I submit that we are here to remind ourselves of the promises that we made to the citizens of our county and to each other. During the campaign, we talked a lot about the importance of personal and organizational responsibility. Today, we are here as individuals and as an office of the Criminal District Attorney of Tarrant County, Texas, to highly resolve to dedicate ourselves to the goals that we set. Abraham Lincoln used that term in the Gettysburg Address, highly resolve. Lincoln said, we highly resolve that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. We have a, sem a similar resolution today and a sacred duty to fulfill. What is that duty? What is that standard which we will be measured? Justice must be served, both for the victims and for those accused of perpetrating illegal behavior or acts. We are the agents of justice. And although the famous statute of justice shows a woman blindfolded with a scale, I submit to you that we, her operatives on the ground, are going into office with our eyes wide open. And we're gonna use every tool in our arsenal and we're gonna be ready to be used. Here are the broad issues that we promise to tackle, and tackle we will. We committed to reduce the backlog of cases awaiting investigation, resolution, or trial. For a variety of reasons, these have become a mountain, disadvantaging both the victims and those accused. We need to fully staff our office. I've spent the last two months recruiting, and I have, I've got the privilege to, to let you know very good news. We searched all over the state and we are attracting experienced, effective, highly trained lawyers with great integrity, many of whom are here today, working on the mission of enforcing the law and building public confidence in the 15th largest county in America is a considerable and desirable and worthy mission. We committed to making the first consideration in granting bail the safety of the community and keeping violent offenders off our streets. We committed to enforce the laws on drug trafficking. I've spoken to law enforcement leaders in neighboring counties and they report to me that Tarrant County has gotten a reputation of being lenient. People have been coming to our county to commit crime. I have a message for anyone thinking about coming to our county to do drug deals. We'll be watching for you. We'll be waiting for you. And we'll take special note if you come to our county to commit crime. We begin this mission as violent crime statistics are increasing. In urban communities across the county, violent people are led out on low bail to roam the streets looking to prey upon unsuspecting residents. This won't happen in Tarrant County. Assuring public safety is the first task of government and we're committed to doing our part and keeping our community safe. I grew up admiring President Ronald Reagan. In 1981, Reagan addressed a law enforcement group and said, it's a privilege to stand here today with those who command the front lines in America's battle for public order. Let me close by echoing Reagan's words. It's a privilege to be here today with all of you. Those on the front line in the battle for public order, we're gonna, we're gonna follow through. We will pursue our goals. We will dedicate ourselves to fair and efficient enforcement of the law. In summary, we will fulfill our sacred duty 
and we will seek justice.